Hey there, uh, I'm Haley for those of you who I haven't met yet. And this is my first video response to V.S. Ramachandran's The Telltale Brain. And I'm going to be talking about the introductory chapter, No Mere Ape. I really enjoyed reading the first chapter alone, which is really exciting for me because I'm one of those people who like I have to be interested in what I'm reading or else I just kind of don't want to do it and then it doesn't happen sometimes. But uh, he puts grander ideas, I guess, in layman's terms in a way that you can still see the scientific thought behind it all, but he makes it accessible for people who just have a basic interest all the way up to us who are using it for a learning purpose. And I think that's really important because it's not, even though they're not researching stuff or trying to learn something, I think science is something that should be really accessible to the public because to keep it reserved to just scientists doesn't really help because, I mean, your idea is, or your studies or whatever, I mean, it's all good and well, but it makes it bigger if you make it a concept that can go across, ev like, everybody, and I think the concepts that we're trying to um, learn and ingrain in the way we see things is important for other people to see too because as we advance in science it's necessary to keep them keep everyone else on track I guess uh, um, but overall though he also just kind of it's kind of like you're sitting down having a conversation with him which I think is really awesome um, I also really enjoyed his little witty comments especially the one where he throws in Harry Potter for no reason but it definitely makes it, it makes him more relatable to everybody because it's like, oh, he's not just a scientist. He's a person, too, that goes to watch Harry Potter, or reads Harry Potter. Um, as the content of the chapter goes, I mean, I, I did really like it. I especially liked how he mentions multiple ideas of how humankind came to be, like from creation to evolution. But he also, aside from everything else, points out that it's okay to think that we are the same and unique all at once because we came from one thing and moved to another, but by doing that we became individuals, uh, which is obvious in the fact that we can do things that other like mammals and primates can do um and he like talks about also it's like um they like self-concepts and thinking of like morality and whatnot um I thought it was really cool about the Neanderthal DNA I know that's kind of an obvious thing but I just it's one of those things I never thought about I don't know how I thought like felt about when he um went on about how like our human type now kind of was able to survive because we had better tools and language and whatnot because where I can see that being true are our, our like tools and language came from that and that like at that point I feel like we were I think people are trying to think of we us being at a level that we are now but we have to keep in mind that I mean we were you know just developing those ideas too like our language built upon the language of those and so I almost have a hard time believing that our brand of human survived better than the others um, because of that but at the same time I could definitely see that to where they took what everybody else was kind of developing um, at the same time but it's like because of evolutionary brain whatever we're able to um, take it a step further and that's like that's how they survived um the hobbit thing was really cool and i'm assuming the name hobbit came from the book i don't actually know because i mean I, it's, it called it a nickname i'm like that'd be really cool if there was just hobbits and then tolkien you know took that but um i'm assuming it's from the book uh but other than that like I'm really excited to read this book, and I think it's going to be really easy to relate to and understand, and that'll be good, like a good way for me to take the concepts from class and like look at them from different aspects, aspects, and ingrain them in my own mind. So.
That's what I have to say about the introduction. Thank you.